Generally, a person who trades based on tips of confidential information given by a corporate insider in breach of their fiduciary duties can be liable for insider trading if the person knew or should have known of the breach. In determining whether an insider breached a fiduciary duty, courts consider whether the insider will personally benefit from the breach. In United States v. Newman, the Second Circuit held that a personal benefit will only be found if there's a meaningful close personal relationship between the insider and Tippy. Four years later, the Second Circuit re-examined this relationship requirement in United States v. Martoma. Matthew Martoma was a hedge fund portfolio manager at SAC Capital Advisors. In his position, Martoma managed numerous investments in pharmaceutical and healthcare companies. In 2008, two pharmaceutical companies, Elon Corporation and Wyeth, were jointly conducting a clinical trial on a drug designed to treat Alzheimer's disease. To obtain information about the drug, Martoma paid for consultations with doctors. One of the doctors was Sidney Gilman, chair of the Safety Monitoring Committee for the clinical trial on the drug. Another doctor was Joel Ross, a principal investigator in the clinical trial. Both Gilman and Ross had an obligation to keep the results of the clinical trial confidential. However, Gilman and Ross provided Martoma with material non-public information including updates on the drug safety and patients' responses. In July of 2008, Elon and Wyeth issued a press release regarding the results of the trial, which caused Elon's share price to increase. Later that month, Gilman presented the results at a conference, which caused Elon's share price to decline. But prior to Gilman's presentation, Martoma made trades in Elon and Wyeth resulting in large gains and avoiding large losses. Subsequently, the United States government charged Martoma in federal district court with conspiracy to commit securities fraud and securities fraud. Following trial, the court instructed the jury that it could find that Gilman and Ross received a personal benefit if it found that they provided the information with the goal of maintaining or developing a friendship or networking contact. The jury then returned a guilty verdict. Martoma appealed to the Second Circuit.